do. This is the demonstration and I hope that this is useful and if anyone has any questions please feel free to either message me or email me at uh, brenda at vlerock.com and let's begin. So when you get into your private library you see your google slides and then you just open it up so that you can use that within the web. And the first one, is, the first slide will be a song. And after you, the student's ready to begin, you just click the song. Two things to note. When you do have these, they, uh, your videos can, if there's the icon on the bottom, you can open them. 95% of the time, it will let it open. Occasionally, it will not. And then um, if the song is too fast for the student, you just hit settings and then you can slow the song down or you can leave it at normal speed. And if it does not have lyrics, which it does normally for the older students, then you just hit CC and that will provide the lyrics to the songs for the students. But most of the songs that I include do have lyrics. So that is a little bit about the YouTube embedded. Then we go uh, to the next one. And this one really is just to have them sing and dance. It's not about them memorizing or reading there. And then here we are, have usually include a phonics song and the phonics song helps them to learn to sing and use phonics. And the singing helps them to remember the sound of the letter. And again, you play that and then you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. And that goes through and these are usually about one or two minutes long. I, do, I don't try to keep them uh, to very long videos because we know that most of the students have lessons only for 25 minutes. Though I do use the same material for 25 or for 50 minute students, uh, with the 50 minute students I do a lot of extension. But I don't have any three year old 50 minute students. So then we go into the phonetic uh, flashcards are rabbit, robot, red. You can ask them to find something or not. And then we're gonna go into writing and writing is cute to introduce to them either in the air or if they wanna try to write it, you can have them write it on the uh, board. If not, uh, they can write it on paper or they can write it on their hand. Then we have the introduction of the lesson. And again, this is a video. It introduces the lesson and it's done either in a song or in a game. So it's a brain break introduction. Part one of the vocabulary is first, we're going to say the word, see the word, repeat the word. Again, say the word, see the word, repeat the word and we do that for all three and then I undo them and do them again to get the pronunciation there and then we play peekaboo um, and I use my arrows I use the left arrow to go backwards and the right arrow to go forwards and then now it's time to do peekaboo you ask them to cover their eyes it covers you ask them to open their eyes and ask them to guess if they can't guess within two, three seconds, open it. And if they just say ruler, try to encourage them to say, it's a ruler. Again, it's a pencil or it's a book. You control the clicking to, to the animation so it will not go so fast and you can also repeat that. Then we're gonna move into the sentence structure and they'll both appear for you and you're going to then have the students repeat after you, where are you? And then to see if they can repeat, I am in the classroom after you. Again, where is my book? Here is your book. Where is my pencil? Here is your pencil. And it does the same. First, they get a quick brain break. This one is actually one that will get them up and moving and it's off topic, but it's fun and it's really good to see them exercise to get some of that extra energy out. If they don't wanna get out of the chair, they can still try to do the exercises in the chair, but it will not always work. Then we're gonna to go to the next one. 
This is part two of the vocabulary. It's done exactly the same way with the peekaboo game and the position changes. That way they can't guess where they're going to be and they're not always in order. Then we're going into the second set of the sentences where you say and have them repeat it. And I try to make sure that it's animated and that they like the pictures. And then we have the review of the school supplies. And this is role play where um, you can each choose a role. You can ask them if they want to be the teacher and then they can read where is his book. And then the answer will be his. Here is his book. And we love to use voices, high voice, low voice, robot voice, grandma voice, grandpa voice. They all work. And where, and then again, where is my pencil? Here is your pencil. And then this is the presentation slide. This is where you guide them to try to read uh, at least one sentence alone. Once they get used to it, then you can um, segment them to like, we wouldn't expect a three-year-old to say, I am in the classroom. I am in the classroom and then have them repeat after you. And like I said, look, sorry, it slipped. Um, have them try to say one sentence at a time. Once they get more comfortable, you can go up to two sentences and the higher level students will actually be able to read that alone after about a month. Then you're going to ask them a question, where is his crayon? Here is his crayon. Where is his pencil? Here is his pencil. Where is her ruler? Here is her ruler. And then we have the final dance and song. It's the goodbye song. And then after the goodbye song, there is the assessment game. The assessment game, you have to click. It'll move you to um, word wall. And this is a matching game. You play that matching game and this works very well um, with the iPads. I always encourage my students to use a laptop. If not, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult uh, because you can just ask, because you can give them remote control access in Zoom. Uh, but with Zoom, they're only going to be able to really click and click on things and they can draw. Uh, you, should, you can send the directions to them, um, their parents, but usually at that age, it's sometimes very hard for them. But with the assessment, um, I have them try and then I try and then we go, actually I have them take a turn and then I take a turn until we finish. And then if they don't like that one, we can always switch it to another game. And you have 13 different games you can choose uh, with them and do with them with the templates. Uh, some kids like the maze chase or if they need more practice. And then at the end, it also um, allows them to rank. So it, they're competing against other children and they like to see their name on top. So they like to continue to play to get closer to number one. And like this one's actually cute too. This is like Pac-Man. And definitely the teacher is going to help them with this one. They see the picture and that little red guy is them and they're gonna to have to use their arrows to go left or right. And we're looking for the word ruler without running into any of the little blue ghosts. And then you're just gonna go up and down. And some kids are very quick at it, other kids aren't. So this is kind of the review and um, a demo of how you can teach and you can kind of get um, a glimpse into the level two curriculum. If, again, any questions, just shoot them over through a Facebook message. I usually am on Facebook most of the time, so I can answer the messages in Messenger or send over an email at brenda at vlerock.com. I hope this helps and happy teaching and happy Saturday. Bye.